Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 17 of our uh, Mark II Power Behind the Throne playthrough. We're playing as Jarl Eilif, the Just of Vestlandet, and uh, we're beholden to Filkir Haralda. Now, just before we get going, well, Filkir has de decided that this kid here is going to be his new dude. I'm going to switch my support to him because he's a genius and I think he'd be a really good leader for us. So let's just figure that one out. There we go. Sorted. So now even if the remaining two guys vote for somebody else, because the Filkir is on our side here, or we're on the Filkir's side, this kid's going to become the next uh, dude. Which should happen at some point fairly shortly. Anyway, we're also raiding England, because, uh, of course we are. Let's get moving. And we've just had a daughter, which is excellent, because I definitely did not want... Actually, no, that's a, this is a daughter born to my to my heir, so that's unimportant. Doesn't matter. I do apologise for my voice. It is, uh... Shall we say not great? Okay, we got a tribe of warriors. Just 2,000 of them. So I think what I'm going to do is finish off raiding this township. I may just assault it. Let's do that. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit tight. Yeah, we didn't manage, we did not manage that assault. Wish it. Oh, well, it did cut down on time a little bit, so I'm fine with that. Then we'll get our dudes home, and we'll probably declare war on somebody. Just to use those 2,000 guys that we just got. Why not? We could assault again, and why not? Bang. All good. Alright, boys, get back in the ship. He's not full, but, you know... We got these dudes here, so why not? Looks like we just lost one of our commanders. That's, I mean, not great. Is he anything special? No, he's just one of my vassals. Um, he is a coward, so that's not great. I think my wife would be better. No, my daughter-in-law. Done. Anyway, yeah, my voice is absolutely fucking terrible. Um, actually, yeah, that's probably a good place for him to go, and then we'll send these guys over to Telemark real quick. So, not only did I get hay fever late last week... Hang on. Hafrid is asking me that if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there... Nothing happened. That's fine. Good, our dudes are home. Let's get rid of the boats. And get rid of these guys. Now, these aren't religious zealots, they're just normal warriors, so they don't care what sort of a war we actually go into, as long as it's a war. <coughs> so let's have a look at this bloke. So for 100 piety, we can seize all of his titles. Or we could just conquer him for no good reason. We could do over Sussex for the hell of it. I mean, it'd be funny. I think we kind of just need to consolidate ourselves in England a little bit. I don't particularly want to go to war with Pickland. That wouldn't be great. I mean, consolidate ourselves up in this area. Let's have a look at my religion map. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, yeah, what's going on over here? Ah, oh, right. It's a small revolt but still beholden to the King of Pickland. Fair enough. 
So what about this dude? Got a claim on Kemi. Yeah, it's not really caring too much about that. What about this dude? And see, a holy war is for the entire duchy area, but I mean, we don't need to do that. Because, um, well, we already own most of that shit. So I'm thinking we just take these two as we go. And just make them conquests. And we could do that because he's also old Germanic, not new Germanic, so he's shit. Okay, let's just allocate some leaders. give him a quick boost of troops <coughs> he shouldn't be able to raise too much he's managed to raise about three grand so we'll definitely have him if we can you know manage to meet up with him just want to balance out my flanks a little bit yeah so anyway um I already had hay fever late last week it was Basically, as hay fever goes, it was never pleasant. Oh, we're actually taking attrition. That's only a concern there, though, so let's... Well, and some of these places. It's going to be a concern when we get there. Let's move out. So, do we have a supply map on this one? Please tell me we've got a goddamn supply map. We probably don't. Lame. In um, Europa, you can actually get a supply map, which would be like, hey, you can put this many dudes in here. So we're going to have to cross over Vermaland, like so. We'll take some casualties in there, but... You know. Actually, one way of doing it... Go here, and then we'll split in half. It'll take longer, but we won't take casualties. So, split one half of you over what's that one Ugh. name and you can start your move 16 13 three days isn't gonna hurt them yeah so hay fever for like the third time yes I had hay fever and then I went to a wrestling event at which point I shouted and screamed louder than I think I have ever done before. And yeah, that, um, that fucked up my throat pretty significantly. Okay, he's coming down a metal pad, that's fine. I don't care about him taking that one, because we're going to take everything that he has almost immediately. My daughter here became of legal age, she is quite good good work Hafrid so uh, it's currently Sunday I went to the wrestling event on Friday night um, yesterday Saturday it was really bad like I could barely talk which was amazing don't get me wrong but uh, yeah it was uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun you know, we've actually got a bit of prestige that we could use to build things, like, uh, say, a practice range. Perhaps a weaponsmith. Yep, this is good. So we'll meet his army again there. Bait it around a bit. The hell is the chiefdom of Dalat? Oh, that one there. So who would we be... That's kind of... not great. What's this guy got? He's severely injured. Hmm. Oh. 
to deal with and all that sort of thing. My son here requires a guardian. Now, this is one that we wouldn't mind dying, so we're going to educate him because we might get chances to kill him. Maybe. Good, that's another massive chunk of war score. And, yeah, that's done. We've got this. No problem. Leader of a Danish revolt. Oh my god, what is he doing? Why are you revolting? What's your reason for revolting against the tyranny? Ah. He refused revocation of the chiefdom of Blackinge. Is that because you're... I mean, it'll cost us zero prestige, but it'll make us an alliance breaker in the eyes of the world. I am going to decline this. So hopefully that hasn't impinged on my... Um, stuff too bad. Okay, that's fine. Have a look at some known plots. Do you have an alliance breaker problem? Maybe it'll be a... Uh, well, hopefully it won't be a kingship thing. Nope. Let's just have a look at my vassals, see if any of those are annoyed with us for being an alliance breaker. No, just the heretic stuff. Ah, <sighs> whatever. We'll go help out in a bit. Oh! This guy wants to kill me! <laughs> End your damn plot. Alright, and there's our 100% there. Enforced demand, so we're going to get prestige, piety, and moral authority. And also that little chiefdom right there. Thank you. Let's go help out our bro. Let's see supply limits. Like they're amazing. Excellent. Alright, so we acquired Jumpland. Um... I mean, sure. Why not? Give it a market village. It's a piece of shit, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I think our king is going to have this one under control, and we're just going to come over here and deal with his other bullshit. sort this rebellion out real quick. Yeah, normally with a voice like this I wouldn't have, uh... Well, Jama has provided me with evidence that Gaudi Ivan has been slandering me. I don't think he has. Because this is the guy who was trying to kill me a moment ago. I'll keep it to myself. Hmm. Probably should have just imprisoned him at the time. Quick battle shouldn't be an issue for us. So, one thing that has happened here is now we've got nothing in the main flank for reasons. I think that's because our um, tribal dudes went away, our little army, which is fine because now I've spread them out nicely. <coughs> now that I've realized that being an issue. Of course, I will come to this small gathering of gifts dudes and all that sort of thing. So yeah, siege there, siege there, and we're going to siege this one. Some rebellion. <laughs> yeah, this will be done real quick. Now we 
and get back to the uh, lovely job of tourism. Yes, yeah, so that's that one done. We'll go and help out our bros over here. Why not? Faster the better. It's already at 88%. And there we go, it's done. So let's put these guys down. And now we're all at peace again. And as predicted, he's provoked the Chieftain of Black Hinge, being this one here. That's the one he was trying to revoke anyway. So now this guy, he should have just let it go. It was really dumb of him to try and keep it. Excuse me. Right. So Shamar would like to be ruler of this landed. There's also an independence faction sitting here. Svipjod. Are we trying to murder anyone? Yeah, this guy. Why are we trying to murder this guy? I don't remember. Oh well, if I don't remember it, then I can't see a reason for it. Cancel it. Okay. So this guy is a problem for our boss. <laughs> What does he rule? Svipjod and Associated Kingdoms. Wow. It's a really disproportionate area. We got him if there's ever a problem. Jama here owns Hordeland and Alfmere. Think he'd be happy. Should I just give him some money? 15 gold? Yeah, just do that. Right, so now... I'm thinking of attacking Satmi. He's only got non-defensive... He's only got defensive pacts. Uh, it is Sumanesco, but that doesn't matter too much. Um... I mean, it's all going to get converted at some point anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. And it would really tie in with the... Uh, well, we already own all of what would be the Kingdom of Norway. But Scandinavia is what we're looking at here. If we can get our dude to be an emperor, then we could be a king under him. <laughs> Which would be very nice. So, yeah. Let's fight. It's for a conquest. You get more moral authority out of um, winning a holy war, but it costs us piety. We'll probably get some piety out of it, just as of the thingy. It also diminishes the authority of a Simonesco religion, which we can see here on the ledger. If we find religions... There we go. And all of them are moral authority. You can see obviously the Sunnis have the highest, then Orthodox, then the Germanic. So we're already above, say, Sumanesco, who are sitting at 25, which is shithouse. And all of the ones that basically aren't really doing anything. Yeah. Old Germanic has zero moral authority. That's great for us, because it means that our conversions should be a lot easier. But also, if we could strip down some uh, Simonesco moral or authority, that'd be nice. That being said, I think just a straight up conquest would be fine for us anyway. We're at war again. This army, this army, and this army. Um, what's the quickest way there? Like that, huh? Join up there. Well, you know what, then join up in that province there. Go for it. We got a new king. This dude is now our king. Ah. I see the issue. Is he actually our king or is the other guy? 
Yep. All right. So that's interesting. So, unfortunately, what has happened is the usual bullshit, where um, <coughs> excuse me, where Arfil Kier had a couple of sons. So, how do we sort this? We need to nominate somebody here. I'm going to nominate this proper king. With Filkir, and then I'm gonna just see if we can plot to murder this kid. Yeah, we can. Invite everybody. How much is it just for a straight up assassinate? 350, and it's not very likely to actually happen. We're still at war with these guys here, though, which is cool. Um, this child needs a guardian. Okay, and we could usurp the Yaldum of Vestergotland. I don't want to at this stage, because that would just be annoying. Could we... Yes, we could. I think we could easily win that, but unfortunately we did declare a war just beforehand, so we should really get that one done. And unfortunately our new king is shit. And has already started to, you know, fuck with the laws badly, in a bad way. So once we get rid of these dudes up north, yep, again I lost a chess, we might demand the installation of our claimant. So I wonder, it's me and the chief of Normandal, who is infirm. So he only holds that, and what does my actual king hold? One goddamn province. Okay, yeah, we should have this, because I'm pretty sure I hold everything else. Alright, so we should win this. I mean, after this battle. Speaking of, though, we do need a leader in this army. Whoops. There we go. So we'll win this, then we'll attack our king and get the right person back on the throne. Why did that just change color? and Regia and Svipjod. No, that's good. I'll join that faction as well. Can I? No, I'm not allowed to join that faction. Whatever. The Spy Master of Jalmar of Normandale has been sent to Agda to investigate rumors of a plot. Do we want to try and murder this spy master? No, better not risk it. I think we'll be fine. Though it seems that our plot power has diminished significantly, so we will actually 
is like cancel that plot because it has no chance of occurring. Small battle. Great, we captured this dude. Uh, we're being offered the position of Chancellor. Declined. Uh, we're actually going to sit here and just re-raise this siege real quick, thank you. Then we're going to go over here. I need no help in this war. Again, I made another chess mistake. So, my hope here. Have a look at this Adam shit. Yeah, so this guy really shouldn't be the um, heir. So we will be fixing this all up at some point. Jampland lost prospering. That's alright. That was this one here, I think. Yeah, don't care. And we captured the actual chief, dude. So that's 100% winning. Done. Put down our troops. Now, do we have to not have troops raised for this? Peace is not a prisoner, lieges, etc., etc., etc. Great! We're going to be a bit of a dick. As we do. In that, we know that our liege only has one holding there. Pop up everybody, these guys can just go sit. I'm going to put them on the province because, you know, that might be a little bit unsporting. Danish claim on Nerejo. We're not going to be able to do this because... Easier set piece. Yep, okay, we're good. These guys need to move up here, though. And where is the other potential thing? So he's only got two vassals myself and Jarmar of Normandal, who only holds Normandal. Right, so that's where these guys are going to sit on. And those, these guys are going to sit on that one. I don't want to be in this army, guys. Oh, you know what? No, I'll be in this army. I'll be in this army. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. He's already moving out his troops. Ah, wonderful. My heir has had a strong son. Perfect. Very good. Alright, yeah, let's just put someone in here, like, um... So I guess, where the fuck are they? Rogolin? Fuck that. Not in Rogolin. Alright, that's good. So we start the move. 11th of December, 9th of December, that's great. Wants me to be his Chancellor? Fuck you! Right. See how this works. Good. He has resigned. If 
There is still a war for the Kingdom of Noreja. Right there. So that goes away. And now we're going to use this one here. And we're also going to demand the installation of a Clement. War it is. Alright. So now we have a little bit of a war. It has ended inconclusively because the Cassus Belli is no longer valid. Fuck knows what that means. This little shit here. We can't just straight up declare a war on him because we do have um, dudes hanging around. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. See what happens. Good. He has resigned. Perfect. Perfect. Now we'll get rid of all our troops. Wonderful. Put a weapon smith in this one, that's great. Anything we could do down here? No, nope, still building. Alright, so that is pretty much the half hour mark. And we've got our rightful liege back. I'm sure he's very happy and all that sort of stuff. He says Jarl Arnborn should be the heir. He doesn't really like us because he wants control of Upland. Which one is Upland? This here, yeah, you probably should have control of that. I'm fine with you having Upland. Wait, no, he's also... Yeah, no, you can't have Upland because that's like half of everything else as well. Fine, how many vassals do we have? Bunch of chiefs. That's cool. And I'll remove a dude in Hordeland from, like, the problem in a moment. Just let the month tick over slightly, because it was bugging out for a little bit. Oh, 50 tech points. Went into economy, which is good, because I am looking to increase something in economy. Hmm. But I'm not sure what to start with. Improved keeps, I guess. Done. Alright, let's see just real quick. Bunch of claims, success. We need to nominate somebody for Denmark. In the absence of an actual dude, we're going to vote for Svipjod. Even, you know what? No, fuck that. We're going to vote for somebody who actually likes us. So, Skane, perhaps? Yeah, he looks right. Skane. So it apparently doesn't want us to be able to declare war on this little bastard. We must have a valid Cassus Belli, and we cannot declare war if we have any army levies. We have no army levies raised, bro. Oh, hang on. We're 255 sitting so in Kent, of course. Still saying that we don't have a valid Cassus Belli, even though it's part of a duchy. Whatever, we'll deal with it at a later stage. For now, though, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later!